If you're looking for instant and cheap Madden Ultimate Team coins, make sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com and use the discount code RBT for 10% off your purchase. Yo, what is going on everybody? This is Samuel Brown, aka RBT, coming at you with another episode of Vic's Vengeance. Today, I do want to apologize. I was expecting to have this video up yesterday. I was so exhausted, guys. I had planned on waking up at 6.45 to get this recorded so it could be uploaded in time to publish at 3 p.m., and I slept literally about uh, 17 hours. You guys have to bear with me, man, these next two weeks. Actually, next three weeks as I get ready for these competitions, guys, because my energy levels are just all the way through the ground, to the ground, underneath the ground, dig a 17,000 foot hole. That's where my energy levels are. That's what happens when you eat literally 20 carbs a day and do about two hours of cardio on top of weight training. So... I'm trying my best guys, I've been trying my best to produce content for you guys, so I apologize if I slip up here or there, but today it is coming out on top of another upload, which I think will be a pretty cool experiment video up around 7pm, and also before we get into the video, I do want to say my first ever real life football challenge video will be coming out tomorrow, had a lot of fun recording it, hope you guys will enjoy the video. So with all that said, let's get into the first game of the episode, and let's see if we can be great. Hold on, I gotta pause the game. There's almost a 400 CP EV right in front of me. First try. First try. Gotta be great. Boom! I really don't think this play has worked literally at all in this series. Unless we can throw this to Rob Gronkowski. Newest upgrade in the team. He... Oh, don't pick it off. God. Brilliant start, bros. Brilliant start. Andrew Luck, DeMarco Murray, Odell Beckham Jr., Julian Edelman. Play action pass right here. Edelman's gonna be... He's gonna test... Oh, he's gonna test freaking my whole entire god dang... Fumble! Pick it up! Man, there's just some times when you don't want to commentate and you just feel like if you did, if you tried to, come on, pick the ball off, user pick! Like I said, there's sometimes you just feel like it's the night that you're gonna be great. And tonight, I'm feeling good. User pick, the GOAT, Ray Lewis, let's put in some work, cause you gotta be great. This is actually important that I forgot to mention in the intro, guys. I sold Braxton Miller's wide receiver core because his price had skyrocketed from that rookie premiere set. And I needed to get the coins while I could, so I went ahead and added in Stevie Johnson, as you see, flanked out to the right. Because, I mean, I needed to get the coins while I could. So hopefully, guys, don't worry about that as we get a first down here to Burton. Well, that went pretty bad, so let's see if we can get lucky here on third down in a mile. Oh, man. Alshon Jeffrey on the run. Run after the catch. Juke inside. That's going to be... Does he have the speed? That's going to be a touchdown, boys. How freaking clutch. One of the biggest plays in this series from Alshon Jeffrey so far, who I could say has probably been a disappointment, but as long as he starts to perform now, somehow got off that press coverage, found the zone, 7-0. That two upgrades brings us back up to positive one upgrades for the episode. As long as we can get the win, I'm going to be happy because I forgot to mention this as well. We have three games left in this season, and we have to win all three to make it to the playoffs. So this is a pretty big game. Third and two. What's the move going to be right here? The underneath route is not the move for him. He has the guy over the middle, and he's going to be open. Oh, no. Oh, my God. He tipped it, but somehow went right into his receiver's hands. Oh, that's unlucky. He has Bo Jackson as a backup running back. That's very good. He's just running for a nice gain down to the 15. So, guys, the normal defense I've been running has not been working with the formation that is. He has this guy open. I think that was my man. Fumble! Pick it up, Ed Reed! Ed Reed! Oh my god, guys, what a huge freaking play. Like I was saying, the normal quarters that I usually run has been getting killed this game. Moved to dime, and although it wasn't the formation's fault, we got a big play there. My defense comes up huge. We get probably an undeserved turnover, but I'll take anything right now. Can we reminisce a little bit right here? Come on, Alshon Jeffrey. Alshon Jeffrey on the run. He makes the catch. Same exact play. We'll hit Kobe. Oh my god, Alshon was wide. Alshon was wide open, but it's okay. We're at the 27. Uh-oh, why is going to be, oh god, why is open, that's the bronze Langford for the touchdown, I thought Lawrence Timmons was going to drop back just enough to get the interception, but nice throw, nice bullet throw for Michael Vick, if that throw doesn't have that much power on it, it might have got picked off, but the bronze receiver, Langford, who, I mean, has not made some insane catches, but he's very, very productive, always finds to be open, and a lot of people were suggesting that I upgrade him, but I think I'm going to keep him in the team for right now because there's no real reason to take him out unless he makes a couple crucial drops because, I mean, he's just been productive. I mean, maybe it's not in the most flashy way. Nobody's open. He's going to chunk it deep. He chunks it deep. Come on. Make a play more. More gets the interception. Let's go. I believe that's a silver safety with the interception. Might be a regular gold safety, but what a play. Odell Beckham was right there. He jumps up over Odell, who has 99 spec catch. Gets to pick, guys. Make sure these underneath routes aren't open. This route's going to be open now. And we... 
Oh, that's the second time that's happened. David Emerson has decent coverage, but tips it right into his hands. Oh, what? What? If he runs a halfback toss to the right, I'm going to be screwed. That's up the middle. Ray Lewis is right there. Gets the big hit. Let's go. Fourth down. Fourth down and three, boys. Is he going to run it? Or is he going to throw it? He runs it. He runs it. Oh, man, we could not get off the block. And he gets down to the three. I did not expect him to run that, honestly. Third down and goal from the six. We got pressure. Oh, how did he get that ball away? Fourth down. Bringing pressure from the outside once again. Cornerback blitz. It's going to be a toss right into my cornerback blitz. Let's go, boys. Bo Jackson's going nowhere. It remains 14 to nothing. After a pretty bad drive for me and a pretty bad punt, he has the ball now at the 40-yard line. We're bringing pressure, and he saw that pressure really nice as he finds the open man. Come on, get the sack. Fumble. Pick it up. God, we forced so many fumbles this game that we have not picked up, but still an eight-yard loss is pretty big. That's actually our silver Larry English with the pressure. Third and inches. Big play. I'm expecting a run here from DeMarco Murray. He's audible, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to be a run. We are blitzing, though. Come on, pick that ball off. Nice job from Justin Gilbert to knock the ball loose. Oh, God, is this going to be a halfback toss? It's a quarterback sneak, and he picks it up. Third down and ten. We're trying that blitz again. Make he has the guys running over the middle, and he has a guy open. Fourth down, we get the fumble. Bakari Rambo picks it up. It's going to be six the other way. Bakari Rambo picks it up, scoops it up. Back to the end zone. We go up 21 nothing. That's going to do it. That is an extra upgrade right there for the defensive touchdown as we go up 21 to nothing. I want the shutout, boys. I want the shutout. And we get the sack. He's going to call a timeout, though. No. If he scores in the last play, I'm not going to lie. I'm be a little sad. Just a little bit. We're going to get pressure, though. No, he... No! You've got to be kidding me. Last play of the game. He scores. But, I mean, I guess in all honesty, it doesn't really matter. We get the win. 21 to 6 and we're on our way to making nah come on pick that off okay whatever but we get the w like i said 21 to 7 we need two more wins out of the two games to make the playoffs in this season we didn't really do much offensively aside from a couple big plays our defense was a big reason we won this game we didn't play particularly well defensively but we made the turnovers when we needed to very very big turnovers in this game from the defense as we're about to count these upgrades from this game michael vick had 177 total yards in this game which is one upgrade the two touchdowns count for four more upgrades which makes five one interception brings them back down to four. The one touchdown from the fumble recovery makes it five once again. And the win makes it six upgrades for this first game of the episode. So with the six upgrades from the first game of the episode, guys, we're going to use four of them to add the GOAT, the best of all time into this team. I think this marks the most expensive upgrade in series history. And crazy enough, this guy was going for like 400k a week or so ago when I was thinking about upgrading to him. And player prices has dropped so much just all of a sudden. Because I know the Walter Payton I bought for my last pass and present squad builder, I bought for roughly 850,000 coins. And at the time, I was trying to resell him for like 900k. He finally sold today for 550,000 coins. So I've seen prices on big players drop tremendously. I don't know if the rookie premiere promo has anything to do with it, but player prices has dropped tremendously. So I'm only having to use four upgrades on this receiver. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade Stevie Johnson. One upgrade brings us from a goal to an elite under 50K, to an elite over 50K, to an elite over 100K, to an elite over 200K. And this guy cost me 280,000 coins. The absolute GOAT who actually after this upgrade is gonna move over to number one receiver. We're gonna move Alshon Jeffrey to the two is going to be the legend, ultimate legend, Jerry Rice, who does have the ground and pound chemistry style. Guys, his stats are absolutely fantastic. Arguably the best receiver in NFL history. I believe 100% the best receiver in NFL history. Pretty cool. One of my friends in real life actually plays at the college that Jerry Rice played for in college. He actually plays receiver there too as well. But 100 catching traffic, 100 catching, 100 route running. This guy... Hopefully, we'll mirror Calvin Johnson. No, he's not as tall, but hopefully we have a Calvin Johnson-esque receiver in this team now. And Alshon Jeffrey's a good receiver, but she's not really making the big plays that Calvin did. So maybe now, once we swap Jerry Rice to number one, he can make those big plays that Calvin didn't, and then our offense will just absolutely explode. 
And that means we have two upgrades left, guys. And I have to be careful with my upgrades now when I am upgrading players to an elite because I'm trying to make this team as good as possible. And once I upgrade them to an elite, they can no longer be upgraded. And a gold player using only two upgrades will only get to a player over 50,000 coins. So I want to use some positions and save them up to where I can use a lot of upgrades to get the very expensive players to add into the team. So I want this team to be absolutely amazing to end off Madden 16. But with that said, we're going to finish this first set of upgrades at the punter position because Alex Henry is a 41 overall punter and we just need somebody better at times so we are going to use the two upgrades to go to a gold punter who you probably saw in my punter at quarterback challenge and that is Johnny Hecker who has you know just good enough stats that you need at a punter position and we still are going to use one more upgrade later on in a punter to finish it out but we usually don't go to an elite punter because they cost like 300,000 coins and that's kind of a waste of coins for a punter in a team but with that said guys the team is finished for now we're about to jump into game number two and remember we have to win this game to make the playoffs we still have two games left to go in the season and we have to win both with that said, let's get into this game and hopefully continue that streak. Let's see if Jerry Rice is truly the GOAT on the first play of this game. He's going to be one-on-one -on -one with the safety. Can he get there? Can he get there? Jerry Rice makes the catch. I think we have another Calvin Johnson on our hands, boys. Let's freaking go. Here comes back the famous bubble pop. And like I say, every time I run the bubble pop, uh, Jerry Rice, or the guy running the post route, that is, is open. So I fully expect him to be open again, and he is not gonna, and I'm gonna get sacked. Rob Mkowski, if I would have been, you know, a little bit less blind as a god dang bat, would have saw he was wide open for the first. Well, hopefully we won't let Jerry Rice's catch be for naught right here, and hopefully we won't waste it. Let's at least get a field goal out of this, hopefully. Hopefully Michael Vick's gonna not scramble. He's gonna get freaking sacked. You guys might think I'm an absolute imbecile, and it is true that I am, but sometimes it doesn't hurt to try. Oh my god, Lankford's freaking our receiver over there. That's good. That's real good. You know what? This was a bad idea. This was a really, really bad idea. And Rob Gronkowski about caught it. This dude is definitely feeding TJ Yeldon as we blitz. And this is the first time. And wow, he is literally wide open. Can Bruce Irvin catch him? He can't. That's a touchdown. And he's up. Just like that. He played me perfect. Once it works, there's no going back. Because that's just really not how my brain works. So let's see if we can do it again. He's going to be in double coverage. No, he's not. It's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. Can he make the catch again? Come on, Jerry Rice. Be the GOAT. Be the GOAT. God, I can always feel the pick coming, man. He's going to be wide open again, dude. It's just his offense. No! Come on, man. God, two big plays, 14 to nothing. We can't fall apart like this, dude. Rob Gronkowski is open. That's going to be a touchdown, possibly. Can he juke inside? No, he can't. Well, he did, but it wasn't really effective. But a big play there. We definitely need a big play right here. Alshon Jeffrey is open. He makes the catch. Big catch from Alshon. Keep breaking tackles, bro. DeAnthony Thomas is not... Oh, God. Just throw the ball away. But throw the god dang ball away, man. Honestly, unbelievable. Unbelievable. What can I say about that? Honestly, I don't know what I can say about that, to be completely honest. Langford is open! Langford! Langford hangs on! Cameron clear! 2.0 with the big catch! Don't screw me over now, Michael Vick! First and 10, we've got to start making this comeback right here. I do not want to run this. I will definitely run this route, and let's see. He's going to use her. Him, Devin Funches, gets hit. DeAnthony Thomas up the gut into the end zone. That's one upgrade, but the most important thing is we're right back in this. I'm not going to let him get another big play. We need one defensive stop. Literally, it's stupid god dang plays working every freaking time. He's literally ran two plays all game long. You're not getting open this time. I know what route you're running. Oh, what do you know? What do you fucking know? The same th he's ran two plays all game long. I, I don't know what to say about it. Same exact play again. I got you covered this time. I got you covered. Pick the ball up, Bakari. Jerry Rice. Oh, God. That could be it. What did he stop his fucking route for? Wonder what play's coming this time. I haven't seen this formation yet. That's definitely new. That's definitely, definitely new. Come on. Pick this up, Bakari. Right? You've got to be effing sucking my god dang nipple breath, dude. Oh, what do you know? Brilliant play call on the same exact play to the other side. Huh. Brilliant. Brilliant. You've just got to be... No, 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 no. I'm irritated. I'm honestly irate. Oh, I wonder what play this is. He has his running back open. That's that's a new play I've never seen. Actually, I'm just kidding. It's the same play he's ran every time. This guy's 100% a twat monkey. 100% a twat monkey. Eat my freaking dick, prick. Fourth down. I hope he goes for it. I honestly do. 100% upgrade my offensive tackles after this game. They suck more god dang dick than freaking Mia Khalifa on Black Friday, dude. It's pissing me off, honestly, if you can't tell. If you can't tell, come on, Jerry Rice. Be the goat you are. Makes the catch. 
off his back foot for some odd reason. Alshon Jeffrey makes a juke move. Come on, we need to score quick, bro. The throw to DeAnthony Thomas. Cut back inside. Come on, use your speed. You just get big hit because you're about 10 pounds. Jerry Rice, come on, make this catch, man. He does get into the... Just more wasted time, man. Just what I love. What I absolutely just adore in life, you know. Sometimes in life you just have to be pissed off to be great. Because I'm pissed off for greatness after I score this touchdown right here. Actually, am I gonna? Yes, I am. Jerry Rice into the end zone. We gotta get a stop quick, man. Either this is gonna be very, very bad or very good. It's gonna be very... You gotta just be kidding. You've honestly just gotta be kidding me. An absolute joke. An absolute effing joke. Wonder what player running here, man. Never seen this route before. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've just... This dude sucks. Oh, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Suck it. Suck it. Suck it. Come on, Darrell Revis. All the way back. It doesn't matter. It's going to... This imbecile caught me. That imbecile caught Darrell Revis. Real realistic. This is going to be a touchdown to Alshon Jeffrey, but it really doesn't matter, does it? Actually, it's going to be a pick, probably. It's going to be a touchdown. It's going to be a drop. It's going to be a drop pick. We lose 14-27 to an absolute just imbecile. How did I lose? I know I threw 300 interceptions, but I didn't think I played that bad. But I guess that's what Madden is, man. You find two plays at work, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. I tried running everything I could, but I guess I'm just the guy. If he's an imbecile, I don't know what I am. Honestly, half my brain must be missing. Well, hopefully you got the best of both worlds when it comes to this episode, because half of you love it when I rage, and the other half absolutely hate me and say they're going to unsubscribe to my channel and say that I'm just an absolute buffoon. So... I'm not sure which half you are, but hopefully you're happy either way because the first game went good. Second game, I lost my mind. But anyways, let's count the upgrades. We lost. The season's over. We're starting a new season after this episode, but at least we get some upgrades. I mean, I was 15-20 to 20 passing, but too bad two of those were interceptions. But anyways, 200 total yards is two upgrades. The one touchdown passing brings us up to four. The two interceptions brings us back down to two. The rushing touchdown brings us back up to three. And I guess that's it. We get three upgrades to end off the episode. So with three upgrades to end off the episode, guys, I've mentioned it in the gameplay. I'm upgrading my two tackles because they played like an absolute paper plate combination, man. They got so much pressure on passes when they didn't even bring pressure. All they brought was their three defensive linemen. Legit, like it's for real. Put a paper plate at left and right tackle that last game. And there's no difference. There's literally no difference in the performance from my tackles. It's just unbelievable. I really, really wish EA put some type of collectible slash player in this game. It was just a card with a paper plate on the picture. And let me test out my method at left tackle and right tackle or any position when I want to try it out. Because legitimately put in a paper plate at those two positions and the productivity would have been the same if not better. Because like I say, the two defensive ends would have been laughing. Like they'd have been like... And just, what? What am I doing here? So, but we are going to use two upgrades at the left tackle position and go from a gold player to an elite under 50,000 coins to over 50,000 coins. And that's going to bring us to the left tackle that is elite legend Anthony Munoz. And he actually is a lot slower, but his blocking stats, which I'm very interested in, are a lot better than Teron Armstead. And Anthony Munoz was like 58,000 coins, and originally I was just going to use one upgrade at both the tackle positions, but I saw him, and I was like, he's pretty good for just 58,000 coins. So we are going to add him into the team. And with that said, we have one upgrade left, and that's going to be at the right tackle position to go from a goal to an elite under 50,000 coins. And that elite is going to be right tackle Marcus Gilbert, who I got for roughly 20,000 coins, I believe. And there's really no better options that were under 50,000 coins. The only ones were like 80,000 coins. I think the next one was Michael Schwartz for 80K, and he was a 99, but I didn't have enough upgrades to finish off this episode but with that said guys that is gonna do it for this episode hopefully you did enjoy it make sure to drop a like guys we can hit a thousand likes on this episode guys that would be absolutely amazing like i said we are having another video being published later tonight at 7 p.m and it's going to be a video like i haven't done before but kind of like an experiment type pack opening video which i think is pretty interesting i've yet to record it so i'm excited to see how it goes well i completely forgot to put marcus gilbert in the team sorry bro there we go. Now we're up to an 88 overall. But like I said, guys, let me know in the comment section below where you believe I need to use my upgrades next. Do I need to go ahead and upgrade Langford? But he's been very productive. So let me know in the comments. Like I said, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.